this took about a month to get to me probably a little longer I'm very excited to show you guys what I got I low-key think I'm gonna buy stuff from there again before the end of the year because I don't know how long this drop stuff is gonna be on sale I'm probably gonna buy some Lima or Nepal we'll see I've been talking about it a lot thinking about it manifesting it it's gonna happen uh, because I'm gonna press the buy button so <laughs> I'll show you guys what I got I was going for a very basic feel um, didn't want to go anything overboard wanted pieces that I knew I was gonna wear probably want to get more black stuff but we need to calm down a little so I got this one flora it is the color 10 I think it's the indigo color I got, I think I got five of these guys because I wanted to mix these with a blue mohair. I think it would look really nice as like a blue navy sweater. Um, and then I got, okay, I know I'm not gonna be able to tell the difference. Oh my gosh, how do you even tell the difference? Okay, well I got uh, four of the off-white and then I think I got like six or something of the pure white white Ooh, the light I think this is the pure white this is probably the cream can you see that <laughs> um, it is honestly pretty soft I'm not gonna lie nothing's nothing catching me off guard it's probably softer than the Sunday sunscreen. I find that that one's like, when you feel it, it can be kind of scratchy. This one also looks a little bigger, uh, just like the thread itself um, compared to the drops. Uh, sorry, the sunscreen. Just looks a little thicker, but probably maybe it blooms less, who knows. Then I just got these two other colors. Um, it is the, I think, the light and the darker gray. I got color four and three, three and four. So I got one, two, three, four. Um, and it's just like that. Um, I initially had a project in mind, but now I'm kind of thinking maybe I should do something different. We're feeling the creative juices because in the last Bill Smith, I was talking about wanting to make my own stuff. So hopefully I can garner up the courage or else this will just be a Friday tea because I was planning on making that one day. Um, but not too sure and then I got some extra not too important but I just got some uh, some gray it's the the ash gray I think good silk mohair I just needed some to make my Sunday cardigan and we are off I guess I'll also show you this is the progress I have made for the sleeve it's not a lot, but holy smokes. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough yarn. It calls for 300 grams of like mohair and I have way more than enough of that. So I just like, I don't know cause I'm kind of running out. I only have, I have four, I have like five more skeins um, of my Diablo Gitter. So I'm kind of worried cause I'm only, like I'm not that close so we shall see today is December 6th this is the beginning I guess of my vlogmas as you can see it's dark because it's 5 p.m. Um, but thank you guys for wanting to watch me we are probably going to do nothing special today I'm thinking maybe I want to like paint my nails because they're pretty stubby <laughs> and I like it that way currently because one it's easy to knit and then two um I can play piano whenever so I'm thinking I've seen some designs on Pinterest and I got some gel nail polish um sent to me so I was thinking of um doing something fun and crazy so I'll show you guys that well I was kindly sent some nail gel nail polish from Nail Addict I've never tried them before and I've never really tried any really good gel nail polish before so I'm really excited to try it out um I was allowed to choose the different colors and I'm just going to show you <laughs> which ones I picked out um they're all based off of like a theme that I'm kind of going for so this one it's ice mint 
it is just this really nice minty color green I think I'm just really into doing more pastel colors I do really want to invest in a nice neutral like pink tone to kind of put on the base of my nail which I don't have yet um, we have be my baby because I've been looking for a perfect kind of pink um, tone I really like that they have the colors on the top like these containers kind of look amazing they're so heavy duty and so cute it's vegan there's um what cruelty free like how can i go wrong with these guys next color i got was morning sky wanted a pretty nice blue color kind of like the sky i guess i don't know uh i got breaking news because lilac is amazing um, and then I got bronze me baby which is just this really nice yellow so I have like white and black and like red so like very basic stuff but the theme that I'm kind of going for I'll show you this is my Pinterest I'm just really into these kind of like colorful fun nails like you see the smiley faces like they all have like these crazy kind of designs on them like I think one day I want to make something like this. Oh, you see that with the with the mint, and just oh, I don't know. Try some fun colors. Um, and I was I was I was here for this pink moment, uh, but like I want to do this something fun like that. So we'll see what I get into. Uh, we will try it out, and I will show you how it goes on my nails. I'm gonna do this for my nails. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try it, it looks fun. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it with all these cute little colors and be super festive. I have a like a nail tip guy and we're gonna try it with, <laughs> we're just gonna try it. Okay, these are all the colors. I'm just gonna try to do some nail art. Yeah, so I really like Nail Addict because they're cruelty free, chemical free and vegan. So they're just, hitting all these boxes um actually if you use my code i have a code crazy bliss 50 you can get 50 percent off your purchase which is wild i'm definitely going to be um getting more kind of basic colors because it's so fun to try out different things so i'm just going to do like the base of the flowers first and then um we're going to cure them and then I'm going to put the yellow dots in the middle after I cure them. I also like that if you make a mistake, it's so easy to just wipe it off with a tissue. Okay, sis. Oh, look at how cute they are. Look at how cute they are. That took me like two seconds. Like I'm not even kidding. That was ridiculous. I'm just gonna put a top coat and then do the other nail and I'm gonna be cute forever. So yeah, this is the final countdown. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, so thank you Nail Addict for um, gifting me these items. They are so beautiful. I'm definitely gonna buy some more. I just want to like make my whole collection all these. I think gel nail polish is like low key the way to go um, just cause they don't chip and like I, I'm a little worried. I don't really know how to take these off, so I'm probably going to peel them, which is not good for me. But again, you can use my code BLISS50 to get 50% off your purchase. I'm going to use the code. You know I will. So. The four races can save the fall world. Wind, earth, fire, water. They get the surgery that lifts their eyes like this. I don't know who's done that. Let me see if I can find the corn after. But so, can I get that? Is that like Asian baby? I mean, uh, I don't know. What is up? Today is December 7th, um, on Tuesday. <sighs> I really need to get stuff together. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying Blissmas. Um, I haven't really done anything. I just got in the mail, uh, I think it's gonna be in this vlog. Um, the drops. I got some drops. Kid Silk that I need to finish my Sunday chunky cardigan. So... I've pretty much just worked the whole body. <laughs> Finished the body and I'm working on the arm. 
Um, so we're doing that. I've also, I guess I'll show you guys some progress on my other things that I've been doing. Ooh, not as important, but I'm working on the arm for my other cardigan. So I'm like halfway done the arm, which I'm very happy about. Other than that, not much is happening. I'll probably be doing some UX stuff today and then, oh gosh, I'll have to edit this video, which will be fun. <laughs> Editing is always the funnest part. And yes, my face is red because I'm scratching it. Oh, <laughs> have you guys heard of dermatomania? Dermatomania, anyway, I have it 100% self-diagnosed right now. Anyway, but look how cute my nails are. Okay, so update on the sweater. This is it blocked. It actually only took about, I would say like two days, maybe two, yeah. I would say about two days to fully um, block and dry. As you can see, it's way longer than it was beforehand. Don't remember if I ever tried it on with you guys. Um, but the arms are pretty long. They're also way bigger than I had them when it was first not blocked it would probably stick to me like this which I absolutely hated <laughs> um, and then this also it just like blooms out like crazy I just <laughs> I'm so excited to wear it um, I the only thing I altered was I added an extra chain or cable cable length I added an extra one because I think I just my arms are just kind of long <laughs> um, like even even all the way out they're still barely here so I think if I had not done the extra cable it would not like I would have had to really stretch it and I don't know if I really wanted to do that um it's so nice it's really lightweight because the sweaters I blocked were both just DK weight yarn and then one was with mohair and then this one is just fingering weight and yeah I think I'm just gonna wear this the rest of the day because I can and I look amazing I definitely want to make more sweaters which is dangerous but I have to remember <laughs> like maybe I should wear this guy a bit before I start making a crazy amount of sweaters but this is honestly like such a forever piece I feel like given the fact that I made it and then given the fact that it's so beautiful and like so well made because um, I'm not going to my own horn but like the material is amazing I know what went into it I can just fully love the sweater I think I never want to take it off so <laughs> uh, hopefully you'll see me wear it more and oh no I'm going to look for more patterns even though I said I wanted to make my own patterns Love this for us. I am going to attempt to make some coasters. I really, really liked the coasters from Debrasse. She kind of used these really nice wooden circle mabobs. I bought them because they're adorable. I want to make the coasters that she has on her site. So hopefully I can do that really fast and then I can show you guys how it looks. Yes? Okay. And like, do I have other things to do? Yes. But there's always time to crochet something. <laughs> 